Now, slope may come to us in different ways. So far, we've seen it come at us directly, just given to us. Or we've had two points, and we've used our formula for slope to find out what our slope was. The other ways that we may get our slope given to us um, are through parallel and perpendicular lines. If you recall, for parallel lines, the slopes are exactly alike. For perpendicular lines, the slopes are negative reciprocals. What that means is you need to flip it over and change the sign on it. Let's look at an example where we find a line that is perpendicular to a line that's given to us. The process and the thinking involved is the same whether you're working with parallel or perpendicular lines. It's just in the case of the parallel, the slopes are the same. And again, with the perpendicular lines, you take negative reciprocals. So the way this is often given to you, stated, is find an equation, EQN for equation, of the line perpendicular to, and then you get a line, 2x plus 5y equals 8. And going through, or sometimes it'll say containing, the point 2, 3. The slope that you need to figure out the equation for your line is embedded in this equation here. What we need to do is, first of all, rearrange that equation to find out what, it, what our slope is. So one way to do that is to put this in slope-intercept form, and that's uh, the way I'll work with it. So I'm going to get y by itself. I'll subtract 2x from each side, and 5y then is negative 2x plus 8. I need y all by itself, so I'll divide by 5. And I really am not interested in the intercept. I just want to know the slope. And the slope is the coefficient in front of x. Now that I've got plain old y, because the fives cancel out. Uh, we have y is negative 2 fifths x plus 8 fifths. So the original slope that I was given is, or the slope that goes with the line I was given, is negative 2 fifths. So now I'm interested in finding the slope for a line perpendicular to that. Well, that's going to be, and I'll write m for slope, and this little upside down t to indicate perpendicular, is going to be the flip or the reciprocal of this, so 5 over 2, and I'm going to change the sign. It was negative here, so I'll have it positive here. This is the slope of the line I'm trying to find. Now, I was only asked for an equation. That means I can pick a form, any form, and I'm going to choose point-slope form. So my second step is to write an equation. Uh, point slope form again, y minus y1, y minus y1 is your slope times x minus x1. Well, we'll just substitute in. Our new slope is 5 halves. Uh, the point we were given, let me rewrite this. Our new slope is 5 halves, and the point we were given was 2, 3, so y minus the y-coordinate 3, and x minus the x-coordinate 2, and all we had to do was substitute. This is done. I have an equation. However, I'm going to go ahead and show you what it is, rearranged standard form, how it works out, because a lot of books give you answers in standard form, and when you rearrange this, you will end up with 5x minus 2y equals 4 for the standard form of the equation. 